And new details tonight, five local women will soon receive awards from the Women's Economic Development Council Foundation. It will take place next week at the Women Honoring Women event. I sat down with one of the honorees, Brenda Martin, and Martin is the host of Inside Huntsville and a former Way 31 news anchor. She's using her journey to self-confidence to inspire future generations. Brenda Martin is a television personality who is very well connected in Huntsville. I would say I've had a blessed life here in this uh, in this environment. She is the host of Inside Huntsville on ETV. Martin interviews state and local leaders, presses authorities on community issues, and sifts through information to get to the root of a problem. She started her career in television on Way 31. She anchored two talk shows in the early 80s called Morning Way and Dialogue. She would then go on to become the first news anchor for another local TV station. But she wasn't always this assertive, take charge woman. As a young girl, I lacked self-confidence. Martin decided to enroll herself in charm school. I knew that was based on what they taught that would help me. It taught her about social graces and how to enhance her social skills. The glasses gave her the confidence to pursue modeling. I was blessed to um, to work in the States and eventually to model for Emilio Pucci in Venice, uh, Italy. It wasn't just Martin's physical beauty that had people talking. She was a quick learner and very ambitious. She decided to pursue other career options. Martin stopped modeling and got a job in corporate America where she quickly moved up the ranks. I started in customer service, sales, sales management and, and the like and eventually was um, uh, promoted to um, as administrative employment manager to um, in Xerox. Her husband Frank was by her side the entire time, but the high school sweethearts hit a roadblock right at the peak of Martin's career. My husband uh, came home one evening and said, they want me to go to this place called Huntsville, Alabama. We're only going to be there for two years. Those two years turned into several decades eventually realized that I was going to be here and I needed to decide what I was going to do. She opened a school called Tiffany's Academy. It's named after her daughter. Everywhere I go, I find or I run into one of my kids, okay? And sadly, her husband of 43 years passed away. It was rough, but... Things would come to me um, as obstacles or challenges. I would just stand firm, think about it, um, determine that it was not going to break me. Martin knows her husband is watching over her family. She encourages other women to not let fear or a lack of confidence stop them from pursuing their goals. If you think you can, <laughs> you can. And Way 31 is a proud sponsor of the WEDC Foundation's Women Honoring Women event. It's Thursday, September 20th at the Von Brown Center. Money raised from the event will go towards scholarships and educational workshops for college women. And if you want to learn more about this organization, just go online to waytv.com.